Oh, it's 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 over here as as you know yeah over here <laughs> as Graven just picks up Kella and just head first right out the window and then starts messing with his uh, alchemy jug and starts pouring it out of the window. He gets yeah, it. He gets tied it. to the chair too. You guys yeah. brace the tiger sauce. Chair and all. Easy yeah. tiger. Don't Easy glitter. tiger. Don't, don't forget the yeah. glitter. <laughs> as she's farting going out the window. Farting so does dust someone go to glitter. check on the uh, on the body then to see if she's alive? Is it? Uh, yeah, as she as she falls down the the two stories, you know, you hear the thud of the body hit the ground, and you know the you can actually hear the the wood splintering and whatnot, and all of a sudden you start to hear feet paddling around everywhere outside, and you can see that they're all running up to uh, Kella, and you can see that just blood is going everywhere on the ground now. And Whoever was calling out yeah. the name, like my love, uh, mm-hmm. I want to try to take a shot at him as he's checking on the body then. <laughs> yes! What <laughs> a murder. That's right. Go, on, Gildan! We are defending ourselves. We are not murderers. <laughs> well, at least well, not all. I don't us. know what you guys got from this interrogation, but I, I just saw Graven throw her out of the body, out of the window, and all this other kind of stuff. So I'm, just, and he didn't seem to object to her getting like assassinated. So I'm, I'm having this completely different picture of what might, might have happened before we got there than what <laughs> probably actually did. So I uh-huh. think she must have been the worst possible person ever. And if this is someone that she's traveling with, then. I'm thinking all they of must you are going to hell. Same all thing. of you are going to hell. <laughs> so you're all going to the elemental chaos, to the lower depths with Tiamat, where she was as sent soon as back. Gildan uh, fires his shot. I I pull up my longbow to to follow in suit. Okay, so as you were looking out of the window, all of you were kind of glancing out of the windows. This gentleman that I just shared the the portrait of, that is the very dapper looking individual that uh, was calling out Kella's name and he has a uh, one of these flying snakes such as Kella had graven in Trayvok before she sent it off. And there is a flying snake on his shoulder as well. And he sees the bottom, he scampers over to it, starts looking uh, over the body, he sees the, the blood running on the ground and he looks over towards one of the other guys dismounting from his horse. And he says, hurry San Carlos, see if you can do anything to save her please. And uh, <laughs> San Carlos just looks, uh, and this is just as Gildan is starting to fire his arrow at at, uh, at the individual. Yeah. And he says, so what is, I'm sorry, what is Zulkin. There is nothing I can do, sir. And he looks up at uh, at uh, this individual that he called Zulkin, and he just, he tips his hat a little bit, and he just shakes his head no. And he says, sorry, Zulkin. There is nothing that I can do, sir. Wham! As an arrow comes into the picture. So, Gildan, go ahead and give me an attack roll. All right. Uh, so let's see. So would I get advantage? Is is he? Is he's not, not expecting it. Well, I, I would say yes. He's probably would be expecting something because a a body was just <laughs> thrown out of the yeah, second yeah, yeah. story window. So <laughs> his lover. So yeah, I would I would say. And as as you're starting to fire the arrow, he just looks up very slowly towards the window, and he sees all of you there, and he just you can just see the fire in his eyes. And you can go ahead and get your shot off, and then everybody also roll initiative. <laughs> All right, come on, when baby. Oh, you. damn. When I lay a month by it. <laughs> What'd you say, Graven? I said he's gone to see some fire all right in the moment when I light him on fire. These guys will pop out. Let's see here. Unbelievable. Um, initiative. All right, so here's all of the, the seven snakes outside. And, uh, of course, this Zulkin and San Carlos they are down below the windowsill looking at the ball gagged slit throat body of Kella Dark Hope. All right. Like a bad heavy. (laughs) So Gildan, (laughs) your shot versus uh, Zulkin would be a miss as the arrow strikes the ground right next to Zulkin and without even... Without even phasing him, Gildan, he looks up at you with your bow in hand, and he just he just shakes his head and he says, "You're all going to die now." And initiative is rolled. <coughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Wow. Zolkin's actually got first initiative. How did that happen? Uh, 
and it's all pre-rolled anyway. So Zulkin, first he commands all of the seven snakes as a free action. He says, strike torches and light this place on fire. And he comes over to the door, and he shuts the door, closes the door. And he also starts to do something and and you know he's uh out of, kind of out of your vision at this point because of the overhang of the door and whatnot so he has uh kind of moved over so zolkin has uh has gone sylvia you are up and it's good to have you back sylvia thank you so with um zolkin he moved so i'm i'm assuming he's out of my range but you said there were sure obviously yep. six others yes there uh, are seven snakes out in your there's one called san carlos that you heard uh this zulkin character say could you do anything for her san carlos and he just said no sorry sir there's nothing that i could do and then there are some other snakes that were all dismounting and they've all slapped their horses asses ball gags and all and the horses kind of <laughs> run over to the to the other side of the uh of the uh the fort of you know the palisade walls and stuff. So, all right. So, so yeah. whichever one I have the the clearest shot of, or you know, kind of line of sight of, I will shoot at that one. I don't see the little tokens on the. Yep. The I'm gonna put in. everybody's okay. tokens back on uh, back on the the grid. So there's you. There's uh, Gildan would be by the window. Um, let's see. Here is Trayvok, and then last but not least. Here is the ball gagger himself. <laughs> I'm only by the window where I tucked her out. <laughs> yeah. So we'll say that uh, both of you, you could, you could, you could actually see Sylvia. You're kind of behind uh, Trayvok. You can put your, you guys can actually put your tokens wherever you want, as long as you know the two by the window stay, because that's what, what, that's what it'd be anyway. So. Right, and we obviously don't want to fall out of the hole. <laughs> the well, not yet. Okay. So I guess we'll go for Bandit Six. He seems to be pretty because I don't. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They don't do flanking on this. Um, okay, so oh, hold on. I'm I attack the Bandit Six. Find <laughs> my character sheet. Die, Bandit Six. Ben Carlos is the healer. <laughs> yeah, my uh, out. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So your uh, longbow attack. Your let's see. Uh, I I would say. I'll let you shoot this time. Maybe you jumped up or something between uh, the other two. Uh, and even with a minus two modifier that I would have given you, uh, your attack will still hit uh, the bandit. Uh, lucky shot on bandit number six. So I brain thee, bandit six. You shall take some longbow damage now. Ho <laughs> ho! <laughs> That's not what she says. <laughs> 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 All right, so Bandit 6 takes four piercing damage. If you'd like to take any movement, uh, you can run down the stairs and whatnot, and, and we'll say that you can get down to the base of the stairs with this round of movement. Well, okay, so how long would it take for... Or you can jump out the build? window, I don't care. You well, when I'm, he sets it on fire, but how many rounds are we thinking before it actually reaches the top with the assumption that there are holes in the ceiling so plenty of smoke can go out of the building? Without yeah, suffocating us. Yeah, there's really no fire started yet. I mean, this just happened within, you know, six seconds in this round. So he would, uh, you know, you did hear him say, light this place on fire, light it up. Uh, so it would, it would probably take a good six, six, eight seconds to get your torches and, you know, pulled out and started with your, your tender box and stuff because it takes an action to light a torch. So, but, Well, I'm just wondering if it's better to let them try to come in versus run out. So oh, yeah, that's that's a decision. Right. Yeah, that's a decision. That, so yeah, I'm gonna stay for now until it seems like. I mean, you'll let us know if the fire starts getting crazy and. Oh, yeah. of course I will. Acrobat my ass out of this place. <laughs> Absolutely, will I ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm good then. Okay. Oh, sorry. How do I pass the token? I I've got bottom left. Window, right? Yeah, bottom left. Bottom the left. with the chevron pointing down. The I don't. Hold on, wait. I don't have the the combat. Uh, your combat track. Cross. Combat yeah, track. the cross yeah, How do I get that open? Top right hand corner. Cross swords. Little cross swords. Tighten up, Rachel. It's not sorry. like you haven't played this before. Tighten up. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I've got the combat tracker, and then I hit the little dragon thing. There you yeah. go. Okay, All go. Right. right. So we've got uh, some a couple of bandits that are going to go. So the first bandit, the bandit that's uh, furthest out. Uh, this guy is going to take his, uh, let's see, he's going to take a light crossbow, 
and he is going to point it towards the window, and he's going to try to hit one of you. So, uh, Mr. Graven, give me a D4. One, two, he'll shoot you. Three, four, he will shoot uh, Gildan. That's in the other half of the window. So, one, two, you. Three, four, Gildan. All right, so he's going to fire at Gildan. So the crossbow attack thanks, on Graven. Gildan. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. thanks a lot. Is a hit. I mean, it is a precise shot. These these guys are seem to be pretty skilled. I mean, he just shot through that uh, that broken window that you threw Kel out of, and you're going to take a little bit of piercing damage. Ooh, a total of seven yeah. as the arrow strikes you in the shoulder. Ouch, that hurts. All right, so uh, he's going to take a little bit of movement, and he is going to run and disappear uh, around the side of the building as he's laughing. All right, so it is now San Carlos' turn. San Carlos <clears throat> is also going to disappear out of your sight, uh, and he is going to make some movement and perform an action. We are going to go to Gildan. So, Gildan, you have some seven snakes out in the courtyard. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a shot. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try to remember what the layout of the window looks like. Um, I'm going to try to go... Can I go across the... Back into the other room? Do I have enough movement to make it over to the to the sure. other window? Absolutely. Uh, and then do a... Uh, take my action, cunning action, to do a hide up against the window as I'm moving uh, to try to get a shot at Bandit 6 where he's not seeing where the arrow's coming from, perhaps. Oh, uh, let's see. Give me a stealth give me thing. a stealth with advantage. I'll let you do that. Stealth with advantage because they're kind of focused on the other window. So I'll give you the advantage. All right, all right. Let's see. So a little stealth action. Sure. Yeah, he doesn't see you, so I'll let you have advantage on the roll now. All right, bandit, cool. Bandit number six. And let's see where six there he is. Oh, uh, yeah, bandit number six. Yeah, you definitely. Cool. Uh, ben, and yeah, definitely hit. Nice shot with the bow. Now they see you as the, you know, as the, mm -hmm. you know, you. I, I would guess you would probably now revealed, break yeah. the glass to shoot the arrow. You kind of knock out the glass and then shoot it. Yeah, so now the, you know, they know you're there. So, all right, run and roll damage. Wow, with sneak attack. Wow, that seven snake is a pile of flesh as this, as this guy just folds like a lawn chair. One shot. Nice shot. Good job. <clears throat> Good job. Any any word on that uh, on those blood stains, Mr. Uh, CEO? The blood <laughs> yeah, stains no, coming for uh, for the five uh, E rule set. Yeah, I know. We need to bring that over. Yeah. Someone's slacking over there. Come on. I know. I'm slack. <laughs> 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 All right. So here we go. The uh, number six is dead. I think he was right there, right? So he yep. is officially incapacitated with a blood. Can you stain. put another one where? Uh where the lady got thrown oh, out. Oh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. For when everybody starts <laughs> jumping out of the window, sure. And then one where, where Sylvia first assassinated, there's probably some inside <laughs> the building. Yeah, there was a lot of blood that spilled. I even got a, a little bit on my legs there. <laughs> She's right there. And then the other one is back here in this room, so there we go. Blood stains everywhere. All right, so next up is Trayvok. Let's say you, Trayvok. All right, uh, Trayvok is pretty annoyed right now. Um, he didn't sign oh. up for this murdering thing. Um, <laughs> These murder hobos. Um, We're defending ourselves, not murdering. <laughs> you slit her throat for no reason. You were in the hallway. Um, you didn't see that. This is, this is going to be good. <laughs> you just saw her um, going out the window on the chair, so you can blame your grave for that. <laughs> uh, uh, I, love it. I will Dissension. just go into the hallway and sort of uh, just wait for them to come upstairs. <clears throat> sure. Just kind of watch, that. you know, look down the hallway, see if anyone's coming up. Sure, and, and go into like a defensive stance as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. That would be All a right. good thing. Uh, so that's it for me. All right, Bandit Number Five. Let's see, <laughs> Bandit Number Five. Let's let's name him. Uh, Via, we'll we'll name him Via. So let's see. Now that he's seen uh, the glass break on the left hand side of the inn, he is going to take a shot at Gildan with his light crossbow. As the bolt streaks through the air, 
uh, you actually catch a glimpse of him shooting it from maybe a glint of the, the metal uh, rinds on the crossbow, and you kind of streak to the side, and the bolt comes right through the arrow, which probably would have hit you in the facial region, uh, not in the face. Not in the face, but this <laughs> bolt kind face. of streaks by and sticks into the wall uh, on, you know, inside of the room. So oh, do he I get any also, cover from the window as well? I mean, I know it didn't matter on that one, but... Uh, I, no, because you're basically from your waist Still standing up. Is, right there. Yeah, yeah. And this this bandit kind of disappears and ducks around the corner. Okay, let's go next. We're going to go to another one of the uh, another one of the uh, the seven snakes. He's going to have. He's got a clear shot of you too, Gildan. It's not. It's not pick on Gildan or anything, know. but he's he's going to fire and he hits nope. with a fifteen. You're going to take some more piercing damage, uh, real real light damage, and he also streaks across. All right, there we go. He kind of dips out of the out of your line of sight. But Graven, you can kind of see this guy. He's as you're looking down, it looks like he's kind of going to try to run around the side of the building, and he he's pulling a as he's running, he's pulling a. You can see that he has a torch in his hand as well. All right, so let's see. The next uh, next one of these bandits is going to, uh, as he's running, he's going to try to do a uh, very sly shot on the run. So he's going to basically stop at about right here at 10 foot, take a shot at Graven uh, with his light crossbow, fires into the window, misses Graven, and then runs around the side of uh, the building. And as this happens, you can hear another door poof, being shut. All right, now, next is uh, Graven. What say you? Okay, so we are up in the inn, and... Uh, yep, second Trayvok story. moved out to the hallway. Is Trayvok yeah. upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Trayvok downstairs. is in the hallway, yeah. He's at the top of the stairs in a defensive stance, saying, come and get me, or whatever he's saying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're going to light this place on fire. Um... Graven, can Graven see, uh, can I see Zolkin? Uh, you cannot see Zolkin. He is, there's a, sort of like an awning over the door, and he's under the awning. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of like, kind of like in a, like a position like this under the awning. Sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love it. So, Graven, let's see. Uh, no, yeah, why not? Let's see how tough these guys are. Oh, I uh, love it. I think I know what you're going to do. Where's my pointers? <laughs> okay. dun, dun, dun. Draw a circle. Dun, 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 dun. This looks easy. That's Gildan. Okay, no, we can't do that there, so let's go start back here. How about in the middle of the room you're in? That'd be pretty cool. Pretty good. Yeah, wouldn't it, though? Let's go. There we go. Oh, my. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to move this. Oh, it's my. In a, it's in a bad spot right now. <laughs> That seems good. That'll catch, you a, uh... You get a what's his name under the awning? Do it too. You get a jingle for remembering how to do that, Graven. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your cookie. What a surprise. So, this should get, uh, Zulkin and number one, bandit number one, and bandit number three. Uh, I don't know who all it's gonna affect, but we'll find out in just a moment when I roll some dice. Sure. Yeah, target them all. Roll some dice. Right? <laughs> oh, you're done. Sleepage. Yep, sleep on the bandit. All, right. All right, so let's see. The bandit that is directly in front of you, about 15 foot out and 10 foot down, bandit number three, he basically goes into a slumber. Okay, cool. We don't need him around anymore, so... Uh, he is asleep. Three is asleep. Ah, thank you. Check that out. Wow, you are nice. you are Good like you, nice. wow. He's like a stud now, Doug. <laughs> Captain right. Swag, thanks for the follow, Captain Swag. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna move. <laughs> no uh, I'm gonna yeah. go. 
right next to where uh, uh, Kraybok is. Uh, at the top of the stairs, is that about right, right there? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you get right behind him. Yeah, hide behind his. Yeah, I'm gonna be right behind stairs. him, yeah. and I'm prepared to go downstairs next round. But I'm, I don't want. I want to get out of the window though, because them shooting at me right out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> they can shoot at uh, at uh, Gildan all day long, but they can't shoot. Gildan, <laughs> 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 I'm mean, Gildan. No, two while he's at it. <laughs> Hey, at least you got the window all to yourself now, Sylvia. You can fire all you want now. <laughs> That's Although, right. are just the one sleeping. The other two might be hard for me to see, so I might have to move anyway. Yeah, one guy's kind of slumbering there. And, you know, you had seen Graven doing his, his magic anyway, so you had seen him, you know, seeing him waving his hands and hearing his verbal uh, components. And, uh, yeah. So it's uh, another bandit's turn, so let's go here. He is totally out for the count. So we will move right on past him. And we are uh, up to, let's see, I, th I believe we're on round two, number two now, are we? I think so. Yeah. 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 yeah, let's do it. We're on round two. So uh, here we go. Zolkin is up now. All right, so Zolkin takes an action. And... You see, Z well, nobody sees Zulkin because, well, I, I would say Gildan, you see Zulkin. Uh, and as Zulkin appears under the window that you're at, uh, Gildan, you can see that he has a lit torch. And this lit, and all of a sudden, this awning that he was under looks like uh, you can start to see smoke starting to rise from it. Just a little bit. You don't see any flames or anything protruding from it yet, but you do see that uh, it is smoking. And then he. Okay disappears around the left-hand side of the inn. Okay. All right, so uh, Sylvia, you're up now. All right, I don't Try have the other map. Thank you oh. for the follow. Oh, yeah, you need the I, map shared again? Uh, I have the main map, but the uh, w okay. in, the inside <coughs> map, there were some oh, sure. windows and stuff. So I just want to, you don't have to pull it up. Mm -hmm. Just let me know that, uh, would I be able to see Bandit 2 out of the window there on the right, or can I you see Zulkin out of the window on the left? Uh, you would have to run to the other room, but okay. So we'll go to the bandit two then. Okay. Yeah. Now, do I need to be here in order to shoot out the window, Correct. or can I be one back? Okay. Correct. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, you can see him, and you could point your bow down. You'd have to knock the window out, of course, first. You could do that with like a, like a, like a bonus action or something like that, and just kick the window out because uh, it's closed, and then you could just shoot right down at him. Or if you okay. want to shoot through the window, uh, I'll give you like a minus two, and you can shoot through the window without using a bonus action to kick it open or something. We'll we'll do the uh, bonus action of just hide kicking it, and then uh, go okay. ahead and shoot at Bandit Two there. Uh, not so great. Barely a miss. Yeah. Barely a miss. Uh, he kind of looks up as he's running by. Uh, he looks up and sees uh, the silhouette of you in the window as he c continues to run. All right, so uh, Sylvia, you can go ahead and pass it, and we'll go oh, to yeah, a couple sorry. of Hold the bandits. That that's okay. No, that's okay. Thing. Don't worry. No problem. <laughs> If you let it happen again, I'll just kill your character. Uh, yeah, no, I, I've got the smallest <laughs> screen on my laptop, so like between my character sheet, the chat oh. window, the combat tracker, and the map, there's like no, there, you know, I can't find anything. Ooh, <laughs> ooh playing on the laptop, I got gotcha. you. All right, so let's uh, let's see and, uh, another bandit. Uh, you hear uh, another door shut. You hear well, you can hear a thud as you kind of hear it reverberate, especially in the stairwell. You would hear it, uh, and then. Bandit's going to take an action. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, next. Uh, we're going to go to San Carlos. As uh, you see, uh, this San Carlos character, well, I, I don't think you'd really know what he would look like, Sylvia, because you weren't in the window. You see another one of these uh, seven snakes run by, and then you hear another thud, poof, like, the, like another door closed. So there's like three doors have shut now, and like the large window sill on the bottom of the, of the floor. But right, there's still, so, like, giant holes in the wall of the kitchen, correct? Uh, yes, on the very back left-hand corner of the house, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gildan, you're up now, as the seven snakes are kind of scattering. Except for this one, he's kind of standing in the middle of the courtyard going, dum da dum just kind of <laughs> yes. slumbering right, with his head down. down. Yeah, it's got his, he's in the fetal position, you know, Zs are coming up over his head. 
Upside. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> take one of these potions off of my belt and I uh, quaff that. Get a little bit of healing in. So okay. do that with my nice action. Heal. Very nice uh, heal. Let me adjust my inventory here. Well, I'll do that in just a second. But after I do that, I'm gonna run up uh, past, you know, out of this room here, and then when I get to the hallway, I'm gonna like uh, kind of whisper to everyone else in the hallway and say. Quickly, let's let's jump out of this back uh, back hole. I've got feather fall. Don't worry. And then so I'll I'll get over to the edge here, and uh, let's see. Feather you fall. Hear Zulkin say, "We'll be right there to meet you." No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't say that. Yeah, I'm gonna not <laughs> do that until. I'm just kidding. After it lasts for what one minute, I guess. If uh, it's a reaction, I guess, yeah. No, when, when you, you, you can actually group, wait right? until we're all ready. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go right to the edge and just wait until I see the first one of them kind of, you know, I'm going to sure. kick that off, hopefully, if they decide to take me up on that. But. Okay. Yeah, I was saying yeah. the same thing, so that works. Yeah, you don't see any back there where you're at, Gildan. You're, you know, you're just looking out into the, the open courtyard and the graveyard and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Oh, but I'm going to take, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my dash action, or my cunning action to do a high just so I don't get shot again. <laughs> you know, sure, yeah. Yeah, give me a, uh, just uh, throw me a stealth in the dice tower and we'll kind of hold it to the side in case anybody runs around and we'll do passive perception against that stealth. So, All right, now let's go to, uh, next let's go to Trayvok. What say you as your in your uh, your Trayvok, defensive stance ends? As yeah, as Gildan ran by and he sees him running in that room, Trayvok will follow him. Sure. Yeah, you can get and into then, that room. And then uh I mean <clears throat> do you want me to jump now or are you gonna wait till everybody gets in there? How's that work? Uh so I, I think so it kicks off as a reaction. Right? Or, do, or does everyone have to like hold their action and jump together? I'm not sure how that works. It says it lasts, right? Duration's like a minute. I think the spell description says you have to all hold hands, and then you have yeah. to no, you, you have to say something in unison. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't okay, know. So we can, we can open fall, it up real let's quick. Drag it in here. So let's let's, you, let's use the, the awesome... Choose up to five falling creatures within range. Falling creatures rated descent slows to 60 feet per round until the spell ends. If the creature lands before the spell ends, it takes no damage from falling. What's the range? Uh, and the duration is one minute, and it's a reaction, which you take on a creature within 60 feet of you falls. When so you or a creature falling. within 60 feet of you falls... Um, but then it says choose up to five. So I probably have to see all five people. So I would say maybe hold your action until everybody comes in the room. And then the last no, no, person wait. that runs through just has to take it on faith. And I'm going to catch them. No, no but Doug, yeah. if, it's on, if it's a minute and you and it's on the reaction of us falling, you could cast it now because we're all within 60 feet of you, right? Yeah. And then as we run yeah. past you, it would trigger. Run past you off the side of the you know building, right? Or whatever, out yeah, the hole. It, it would trigger yes. as we ran off the... Out of the hole. Ten rounds, yeah, sixty seconds, ten rounds. So, yeah, I mean, so the, you can the, cast it now, and Trayvon can go off the edge right now, and then yeah, but you have to fall. yell "trust fall" when you do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and the I'm material component <laughs> is a uh, the material we component. We do that. <laughs> it's verbal and material, small feather or piece of down. A small piece of leather from the ball gag. That's what the material <laughs> component is. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going uh, away anytime soon. D2B, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Uh, devil, right, I think so, it's a devil. Thank you. Thank so you. we decided, yes, you can do that. Yeah, sure. You can cast it ahead of time and, and just wait for everybody. And everybody can use their reaction because nobody's used one yet. So you can all just kind of, we'll just say that you can all just use it at the same time and tally ho, jump over, feather fall, glide down to the bottom and do whatever you want to do. I'm easy, right. guys. I'm in it. I'm in it for the story. I, I'm not worried about the pure <laughs> mechanics. Well, Dave, I can see that. Uh, uh, nah, anyway, you know how it is. All right, so awesome. I will uh, jump out of the window then, or out of the uh, broken side of the building. Oh, and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna kill you. You fall on the spike right. that is protruding a wooden stake up from the rubbish yeah. beneath you, and <laughs> thanks for playing, Draybok. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll jump out. All right. Okay, sure. In starts to float down to the bottom, sure. All right, let's go to a couple of the other bandits. 
I'm going to go ahead and do this bandit here. I'm going to move the tracker. I'm going to do this bandit here. All right. So now by by this point, all of you guys are starting to smell smoke. Something smells like it's burning. Obviously, you guys would know what it is. But you see none of the seven snakes running